Hello everybody, my name is Ochar, and this is Across the Obelisk. Another episode of my Let's Play series, I believe this is episode 9 overall, uh, the second episode of this particular run. And you know, I could have sworn last episode I spent these level up points. Apparently it doesn't remember them, necessarily? I don't know. Anyway, I can spend them again. Let's draw an extra card. Drawing extra cards is good. I mean, so are resistances, don't get me wrong. Ooh, speed. See, speed's not that valuable on the healer. You kind of want the healer going last so can, he can heal. Unless you go with, like, more of a block-based healer deck. But I don't really feel like that's what I'm doing here. But let's draw an extra card. Alright, let's do, uh, do the first boss, Ilmer. The obelisk is in sight, but something very dangerous is blocking the way. Ilmer, an old tree and once known as the protector of the Serenity Forest, has awakened and been tainted by the energy emanating from the now active obelisk. Besides Ilmer, there is a trunky and a dry eye protecting him. You can't see any way to avoid the confrontation, but maybe you can make the fight easier or worse depending on how you approach him. I don't need heals, so we're not going to heal. You can engage him quickly to catch him off guard, or we can try to hide the force to start the fight with stealth. Group higher than four. I mean, pretty good chance we get that, but... It's risky. Let's just engage him quickly. I feel like we could probably burn him down pretty quick, but I think... I think I'm going to play it safe. And, uh... The front guy first. So that's a bunch of crack. Hmm. Uh, I can't do everything, <laughs> unfortunately. God, I'd love to do this. But we're going to play it safe. Sorry, Bludgeon. Next time. Next time we will cast you, I promise. Oh, another. <laughs> Got too much stuff here. All right, we'll do that. There, he's pretty much toast now. And will that finish him off? Almost. He's immune to bleeds, unfortunately. You know what? Let's just do this. Save the energy. Doesn't really do any extra to use that one. So we got uh, a couple turns before he does yet. Did we draw? And we did draw an AoE. Two AoEs, actually. So, boom. Or do we want Firewall? Yeah. No. La, la, la. <laughs> no, let's go Everstorm. Jumps twice. Yeah, let's do this. It's random, so we can't really influence it. No, oh, that's pretty good. And one on, one on him, one on her. There. Did I draw enough damage to finish her? No, we didn't draw any damage at all. <laughs> so we'll throw a barrier up. And we'll throw a barrier up. And we will put this up on himself. That's too bad we didn't draw any damage at all on our healer, but... Our deck does have a lot of healing. It's, it's made for the long haul. Yeah, so he's got a bunch of thorns, whatever. We're not scared of little thorns. We already took him down, like, a lot of his health, considering we didn't even attack him directly. A couple deflects. Makes it a lot easier to get through the thorns. So that's a dead front monster. So let's put, uh, let's mark him, so everything takes one, or one extra damage per mark, so three extra damage. And we will do that. Beautiful. So now he does extra damage too. Oh, let's take down his uh, resists even further with some vulnerable. Because his melee resists are high, but his uh, fire resists are not high. So I want to barricade everybody. Let's heal. Yeah, let's barricade. Let's play it safe. I don't know why I'm playing it safe, honestly. 
should just probably try to finish it off ASAP. Even more vulnerability. Guess I'll hit him with a flare. <laughs> and then a searing touch. Yeah, he's in trouble. He won't die this turn, but he's going to be dead pretty soon. Well, actually, two sunbeams and a holy... Oh, he's going to take some damage here. Actually, our healer might be able to finish him off. I think he is going to finish him off. Yep. <laughs> healer got his DPS that turn. All right, I guess... Yeah, I guess I didn't really need to be playing it safe. <laughs> First aid. Heal 10, self. Free. I don't think I want to do either of the other ones, but I could take the shards. I do like free. <laughs> Wait, why does it say... It says dispel in the tooltip there, but there's no dispel on the card. Oh, because you can transform it into that. Um... Sure. Oh, I do like backstab. What's this deck so far? So the thing is with this character is he gets uh when he levels up he could make uh, either his ranged attack cheaper or his melee attack cheaper. And I think I'm more melee right now, right? Yeah. Or more range, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six ranged. One, two, three, four, five, five melee. So it's pretty dead even. <laughs> so if I get this, it would be six of each. Hmm. Because you kind of want to go one way or the other. You don't want to be even like I am. So I don't want any more melees. I want some more ranged. So we'll take shards. Uh, we don't really want lightning. We don't really want uh, dark. So we're a fire deck. Dispel to heal 17. That's kind of amazing. Oh, Dispel 3. Grant a buffer, but it goes away. Oh, Dispel 3. Heal 16. That's a really good card. I know it's expensive, but the deeper in the game you go, the more important Dispels get. So, that's why I took that. Anyway. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more across the obelisk. Join my Discord and let me know there as well. You can yell at me for more for more across the obelisk if you're digging it. All right, so we got 300 gold, 300 shards, some XP, and some upgrade materials in the chest. Oh, and the chest, I guess I should say. All right, so we already have items in every slot. They're not necessarily great items. Um... I don't want to take this for a little bit. No, he, I just took speed with him on his level up. Max HP, start with regen. This is the... Yeah. We're just going to take the money. Honestly. For him, he doesn't have anything in this slot. So that's obviously a clear upgrade. That's a downgrade. He doesn't need speed. Um... Yeah, let's, let's take this. He already has extra fire damage. Okay, we're going to give this to him because he needs the speed. Any way he can get it, he could use some extra speed. And this is technically a, a small upgrade, so we'll take it. It's not a huge upgrade, but it's an upgrade. And now you can make the argument that it's such a small upgrade that I should have just take the 100 gold. You could certainly make that argument. So this quest wants me to go to Aqua Fall Marsh. So let's do that. Which is the greenest portal. Now these two portals, if you've never played before, you can do them in either order. Whichever one you do second, the enemies are harder. Doesn't really matter. Now, because I have this guy, which is a fire mage, the other area... Um, they have a, there's a lot of stuff that's resistant to fire. So this shouldn't be too bad for me. But the last thing, the last area might be tough for me. So maybe I should have done it first. You know, you can make that argument. Um, cost of transforming cards is reduced. Cost of divination rounds is reduced. 
cost of curing injuries is reduced. I'm going to cost of divination rounds down. Let's check the armory first. Ooh, that's good. Is it better though? I think it is. Three extra burn charges is a lot. What else do we have here though? So we only have so much money. Oh, that's really good. There's a lot of good items here. Honestly. All the all the 490 or 400 and whatever ones are good. And this isn't bad either. I think I'm going to take that on him. Yeah. So we lose the piercing howl. But I mean he has piercing howls in his deck already, but we're getting five extra HP, five percent all resistances, plus the reinforce. So he'll basically be like tanky AF, especially in the first round. Oh, I did not mean to take it on him. Ah <laughs> whoops. Oh, I hate myself. <laughs> Let's take this little extra speed on him. Yeah, we'll take this. Oh, I hate that I took that on the wrong guy. Let's take this. Having two buffer is good. Buffer is good. He doesn't need the speed. This isn't bad. Powerful. Eh, it's fine. So let's do a uh, divination. See what cards there we have, and then we'll know exactly how many shards we have to work with, right? I do like repair armor. That's a pretty good card. And upgrades. Oh, yeah, I like the free upgrade. So I like both upgrades. We'll take it um, for him. I'm not doing a song deck, so we'll just take the shards. That's awfully expensive. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, but that's awfully expensive. What is this? Draw four, place one from your hand on top of your deck. Yeah, but I mean, how often am I going to have the energy to use them? Hmm. Well, I guess it gives you some flexibility, like... You can dig for heals when you need heals. You can dig for damage when you need damage. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Sure. I don't think I have any negative cards to get rid of. No. So we're just going to do some quick upgrades here. What hasn't been upgraded yet? Punch. Let's upgrade this punch. Yeah, we'll do the we'll do the front monster only one. Because the other two, we went with the other option. Piercing Howl. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, it's not a big upgrade, right? It's just one extra turn of slow. Pommel. Hmm. I don't really want to make it more expensive. So we won't. <laughs> Pulverize. So, okay, so this makes it any monster, but it's basically the same. This makes it do more damage. But it's also 350. I don't think I'm going to do that upgrade. I don't want to make this more expensive, so do that. Bludgeon. Bludgeon's awfully expensive. Don't get me wrong, though. <laughs> that makes it pretty nice. But we still got three other characters we need to uh, level up. So let's level up. Uh, probably just one deflect. Electromark, do we want to make this free? Oh, that's good, though. It goes away. It's so good. So good. Should I take this slice out of my deck? I think I should. Get rid of this slice. Especially since we're probably going to go with ranged, right? When we get a chance. So let's go with this ricochet. I love Mark. Mark's been amazing. Yeah. We're probably going to get rid of that at some point. I do love making this hit anybody. I know it's 350, but I'm doing it. And this, and it's only 51, so. 
Let's do this one. Extra fire, because we're kind of a fire deck, right? Ah, uh, that's awfully expensive. This isn't too bad. So right now it's 4-4, four, four, jumps twice. We can go 6-4 four, or 4-6. Four, go 6-4. And Reginald. Old Sunbeam could use an upgrade. Extra fire, always. Let's make Binding Heal cheaper. I know it deals less, but... Got a fairly expensive deck now with Panacea in it. Oh, which one do I want to do? You know what? I'm going to go with this one. I don't want it to go away. I want to do multiple Panaceas in a fight. That pretty much brokes us. Is there any 150s that we could do? How expensive is his deck? That's a lot of twos. But there's also a lot of free stuff. It is going to get cheaper, so we're going to go with this one. All right, and we're ready to rock. And or roll. So, we need to go down here for the quest. So, doom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Sure. All right, what do we got for obelisk? All monsters gain 15% resistance. And 20 block and 3 reinforced to start. Okay, but no extra damage. Be able to remove one card for free from the deck. We're not, we don't care about that. Access to a rare equipment shop. We're broke. <laughs> so we don't care about that. So we're not going to do it. I mean, yeah, it's extra score or whatever, but is it really worth it? My opinion, it is not. So we can cast everything here. So let's uh, start with a barricade. Then a pommel. And a couple punches. Beautiful. And then... Some myself, I guess. These these look like they're more melee based, so I have a feeling they're going to be hitting him. So we got seven, but we got way more than seven cost. <laughs> so I'm thinking everything except the burning shot is probably probably my best bet. Let's hit him with a mark and hit him with that. Hit him with that. I probably should have done Ricochet sooner for the extra mark. Oh well. Yeah, okay, now you're faster. That's fine. You're not going to get another turn, though, so it doesn't matter how fast you are. Well, I'm glad I put lots of block on him because I actually went through it. Alright, what do you got there, Mosquito? Mosquito boy. Yeah, they did some damage there. Sari's not playing around. It's fine, though. Yeah. Alright, so Flare. And Flare. Do I want to just let him die? Sure. Start on the next guy. Start a scroll intellect to him, and one to him. All right, what do we got here, healer? Not much damage, but a bit. Let's get some heal over time on the go. And he did have five fire on him. I guess we had a couple damage there. Oh, what do we want to... Oh, we'll dispel. That's, that's a lot of stuff to dispel. That's good. We have two left. So we will... On you, I guess. And heal you. Sure. Deflect, for sure. And let's... General in. Um, expose armor on you. And ricochet you. I'd rather it doesn't go to the front guy, but if it does, it does. Actually, that's fine, because now we can use that on him. Oh, let's see what you have. See if we can get enough damage to kill him. Not with that hand. Yeah, looks like that. Yeah. 
Maybe we'll draw some damage now. That's the hope, anyway. Uh, not really on the damage. <laughs> Heal you, draw an extra card. Okay, well, that's, that's damage, though, right? So he'll die to uh, fire. Uh, so let's... Some on you. There, everybody has some block now. And you're dead. Perfect. That's fine. Ow. Alright, so he's stealth. That's annoying. Alright, so it won't take... So will this hit? Him? I think it will. Ooh, what about this, though? Oh, it did hit him. Good. That's what I was hoping for. Because I think if he dies, I don't think we can target him. Except with, like, AoE stuff. But as soon as it takes a turn, then it's, you know, dead. He's just going to die to fire on his turn. Draw four. Okay, yeah, I can put one back, so let's put that back. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's whatever, right? So nobody needs a heal. Let's throw a barrier up on him. Now, I, I don't believe I'm going to be able to attack him. No. So let's get up some uh, some armor. I don't have any AoEs in this deck, I don't think. Same thing with him. We'll get up some armor. Now we'll do uh, the old Piercing Howl. Not much armor. Oh, that was I shouldn't have slowed him down. Whoops. Ah, oh, we got some... Got some AoEs at least. Not enough to kill him, but we'll be taking some damage for sure. Alright, what do we got? No, oh, let's dispel those. And barrier on you, I guess. Yeah, stealth is annoying. What I should have did is I should have tried to get a mark on him. Oh, let's just kill it. I could try to force turns so that my healer goes, but... Yeah. I don't got time for that. Um, none of that really interests me. Let's protect the shards. Ooh, burning shot, I think, though. I think we'll do burning shot. Another fireball? Sure. What is this? I don't think I've ever seen this card before. Deal 9 and 6. Apply 1. It's not a bad card. It's okay. No, we're just going to take the shards. We got enough cards there. So we're going right down the middle, right? We can go here and then here. Why not? Why not do an extra event? You arrive at a small village of Crocomen. It is empty. And in the center of the village, there's a note in a post that says... Right now, we are all fighting on the Western Battlefield. If you want to help us, we will give you a special reward. Don't steal anything or we'll hunt you down. Uh, steal everything. <laughs> Why not? Oh, wow. Okay. Technically, that's a slight bandage upgrade. <laughs> okay, this is the, this perfect. Worth it just for this item. That is perfect. Uh, what do we got here? Ooh, sharp. Sharp is nice. Yeah, I'm taking this. Uh, what do we got here? We got speed there. Oh yeah, we get that, we get that. No, we'll take the money for him. Eh... 
Is it worth 50 gold to recover one extra point? Sure. Why not? So we're going here for the middle. On the battlefield, you see the Lizardmen fight against the Crocomen. After a while, something catches your attention. This is not a war, but something more organized. Rather, it seems like a competition to see which tribe is the strongest. Both sides see you, and they don't seem to care that you were there. In fact, they encourage you to join their side. The highlight of the battle is about to begin, and two leaders, along with their best soldiers, will face off. So we could help the lizard men, we could help the croco men, we can fight both, we can bet. So the croco men already hate us because we just stole from their village. So let's help the lizard men fight the croco men. See what happens. Like I said, the croco men already hate us, right? So might as well <laughs> take them off even more, right? Yeah, so we'll pommel. Six, crack. These punches are going to swing. Yeah, for zero, that's, that's a lot of damage for zero. Zero cost. Oh, I wish I had more mana here. All right, so well, obviously we're going to expose armor. And then this. And wow, he's dead already. Cool. Fireball? No, because there's only two. So we'll put the fireball away. What do they got for us here? Ow. Okay. Ow. Okay, that hurt. That did hurt. Not gonna lie. <laughs> no sugar coating that. It hurt. Um, let's Ember Storm first. A living flame. See where these go randomly. Okay, that's a good spot. Carry touch you. And fire blast you. It's a lot of fire damage you're gonna take on your turn there, bud. Alright, hopefully I got some heals. <laughs> I actually did some damage there. Oh yeah, we got some heals. What can we panacea away? So we'll do him. Get rid of his dots. We'll binding heal like that. We got two left, so let's do a sunbeam and throw a barrier on myself. It's more about the next turn block, right? This this turn block isn't really relevant. Ooh, we'll deflect first, obviously. So let's get that extra mark on him, and then we'll ricochet. Okay, nice, nice damage. No sense doing this because it won't allow us to cast that anyway. Can I finish this guy off? He's taking 35. <laughs> so it shouldn't be hard to finish him off here. Heal three. It's in rage. So we're up to six, so obviously let's do the heal first. Oh, so let's bludgeon the back guy, right? How much damage do I need to do to him here now? Oh, I guess we just do this. We do this. Now he's going to die. And we'll throw some block on him. And see, is going to get a turn. Actually, they both might get a turn if he heals. He didn't heal. So we're fine. And you die. And now you die. But why not let the healer get a turn? Yeah. So I'm just going to pass my turn let the healer get a turn heal himself up here I mean <laughs> he might draw no heals uh, do I want to heal anybody else no let's just finish it off perfect a couple upgraded cards thousand needles oh that is a lot of thorns that is a lot of thorns I've never seen that card before or at least that upgrade Wow. Oh, that's potentially good. Oh, Pummel. I think I have to take Pummel here. Just doing blunt damage, like re repeated blunt, dam blunt damage with 
the amount of crack I have in my deck, Pommel could potentially do a lot of damage. Um, I think I'm just going to take the shards for him. I think I'm just going to take the shards for him. Oh, what's ball keel? Heal X, X equals your deck. How big is my deck? 21 cards, it's creeping up. That also leads me to believe I should probably not take these cards because my deck's already getting kind of big. <laughs> All right, the Lizardmen win, Lizardmen win the war thanks to my help. They win the war rather than strange competition. The Crocomen leave the battlefield. That will now belong to the Lizardmen or at least until the next war. Sauron, the leader of the Lizardmen, thanks you and offers you a small reward. Thanks, Sauron. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, that could be good if we were going for that, but we're not. Oh, is this better? Okay, well, let me think here. So this one, anytime I apply crack, it applies two extra. But this one, anytime I apply any damage, it applies one crack. Now I'm assuming if it already does crack, it's one extra. So which one of these is better? Man. Um, this is kind of amazing. I think I gotta go with that. I know it's one less speed, but I took three speed when I leveled them up, so we should still be fast. And that round shield's okay, but 20 max HP, 40 all resistances, and when they're when he's damaged, they suffer. Oh no! Wait. Oh no! I read that wrong. Well, that's not as good. So anytime he's damaged, he suffers a vulnerable. Oh well, that's fine. It's not as good as I thought it was. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we'll take the gold. I think we're just gonna take the gold all the way across now. Kind of screw that up. I thought it was whenever he was damaged, they took a vulnerable, but I do not think that's what it is. It seemed too good to be true, mostly because it was too good to be true. All right, so let's do the creeper bridge here. What do we got? All monsters gain that damage in that resistance, and all heroes suffer 13 sanctify. Access to an upgrade altar. Yeah, this is good. Oh, I think I need to sneeze here. Or do I? I hate that when you think you need to sneeze and then you don't. Anyway. <laughs> well, let's hit it, I guess. Well, he's got some block <laughs> that he doesn't lose between turns. God, it'd be nice to finish this thing off, though. Yeah, I think I'll be okay on that note. And then we'll do that to you, and that to you. That's a pretty good turn. Pretty good turn for Andrin. God, we gotta get these two faster. Or him, as Cornelius especially. I would really like him to be a lot faster. I need to get that card that he gives everybody haste. I hate that card. Well, now I don't particularly want to hit him. <laughs> oh my god. Ow. Stupid. Insane. Alright, what do we got here? Healing Rain. And we must as well do both healing rains. Draw the cards. Okay, Panacea is good. Do we need both dispels though? I got six. I, I mostly wanted to spell him. Right? Actually, we are going to keep both dispels. So that's where it's leaving with six mana. Put that back on top of my deck. Spell, yeah, spell all that crap. And we'll dispel all that crap. And we'll flash you. 
I guess I don't really need these heals, do I? Yeah, well, I guess I could put the... I, I guess I did put heal on back on top, so... <laughs> Alright, so do some throw these deflects up. Now I can hit this first guy and not take too much damage from his thorns, right? Alright, so let's see if we can kill this mosquito here. Yep. Sure can. So let's do adrenaline and then we'll do a rupture here. More thorns, but that's fine. So we should be able to kill him easily. Yeah, heal him doesn't really matter. So pommel. Actually, we should uh, put that on myself. Get some extra block up. Some pommel. And punch and he's dead. Perfect. So he's gonna get a turn, but I'm not too worried about him. All right, Cornelius, what do you got for me? A whole lot of expensive stuff. <laughs> Well, we're going to do that for sure. It's just going to go boom, 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 all on him. Actually, it didn't, didn't jump, right? You need somebody to actually jump to. Crap. Screwed that up. Mistakes were made. There we go. Yeah, I'm not too worried. So the ordering of debuffs... So he's going to take 9 burn, but he will regen first. It goes in order of application. We can't do much because we used our whatchamacallit card last turn. I think I should be able to kill him. If I use that and then that, that should put him pretty close to dead. I think. I wish I could do that too. Oh, two punches. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, that almost killed him. Oops. <laughs> killed him all by himself. Right, what do we got here? Look at all the bludgeons. Yeah, let's take this bludgeon. Because he's going to level up soon and I can make all my attacks cheaper. Let's take another. I do like already upgraded ricochet. Uh, none of that really interests me. Ooh, another sunbeam? Sure. Alright, so yeah, the reason why I did that obelisk is because this upgrade altar, this usually costs a thousand shards to upgrade. Now you can do it for free. Right? Like, that's... That's pretty amazing. So what I want to do this one... This one, it doesn't go away, but you don't draw the card. I, still, I like drawing the card. Three powerful stacks are no joke, so let's do, let's take that. Oh, wait, does it not make it free? I thought it made it free. Never mind. I guess it has to specify a free upgrade. So this was pointless, <laughs> more or less. I loved how I was bragging about it, and I was completely wrong. Oh, well. All right, so let's take the pommel. One extra hit. Anything we really need to upgrade here? Burning shot's cheap. We must well upgrade that. I just, yeah, I just picked up Sunbeam. Let's upgrade that, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. I was a mistake. That was my mistake. I, I misunderstood what I was getting there. But yeah, there is a thing that lets you upgrade one card in each deck for free. Right? Which is good because you can upgrade these ones that cost a thousand for free. But that's not what that was. Oh well. That's fine. We'll be okay. We want to rest? Yeah, let's rest. But we'll look around for shards. Because we don't need to heal. And the, the other option was just remove a card from your deck. Yeah, we got lower than six. Wow, 560 shards, that's quite a bit. 140 experience is a lot, too. So we're almost level 3, and level 3 is a big one. Because when you play a fire spell, refund 1 energy. Cost of range attack cards, minus 1. Cost of melee attack cards, minus 1. 
Whenever you play a healing spell card, refund one energy. So all four of our guys, they're all guys, right? Yeah. We'll be able to have much more energy. And we can start taking the more expensive cards, too. Right? So that's big. That XP is big. By the time we get in here, we'll probably be leveled up. But that is going to be in the next episode. It's going to be all for this one. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you want to see more across the obelisk. Uh, yeah, that's it. Join my Discord. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. Be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.